Welcome to part two of my Life in New York video. Um, today is Saturday and one of my best friends, Sarah, is coming into town with her mom to see a show. Um, they're, going to see Little Shop. they're going to see Little Shop of Horrors with Christian Borrell and Jonathan Groff. I'm excited for them. Um, I'm not able to go because I have to work tonight. So as soon as we're done with lunch, I'm going to come back and take a nap before work. But yeah, right now I'm headed to the one train. Going to go to Midtown. And I think we're going to have lunch at Ellen's Stardust Diner, which I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm excited. I was just watching this on the subway ride. So good. Wait for hours. We can't give you even a ballpark. We don't provide a wait time. Dreaming of a Chevy and the road. Got no stress, I've been through all that I'm like a Marlboro man, so I keep going back But I wish you I could ride down that hotel road I don't ride to the dead on I'm going to take you home I'm going to take my horse down the hotel road I'm going to ride to the dead on I'm going to take my horse down the hotel road I'm going to ride to the dead on So Ellen's Stardust Diner was good Um, we had to wait an hour outside though. Sorry, I'm going up these stairs. <sighs> so I just got back to my apartment and I'm going to take a little nap now for a night shift tonight and I couldn't be more excited to get into my bed. Um, so we loved Ellen's Stardust Diner. It was really nice catching up with Sarah and her mom and um, so we had to wait in line for an hour outside and it was cooler than I thought. Um, I again misjudged the weather. Um, I was going to be fine for the walk there and everything, but I didn't think we were going to be waiting outside for an hour, but it was so nice to get inside and, um, all the servers were really good. Um, their singing was amazing. It was really fun. Um, I forgot to vlog my food and their food too, but we all really enjoyed it. I had a Philly cheesesteak and they have waffle fries there, which they serve with everything. It was really good. Um, yeah, it says it's almost 40 degrees, but it feels much colder outside today. But yeah, I'm going to head to sleep now and um, get up in a couple hours for work. I have to work the rest of the weekend. Boo. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. So today is a rainy December day in New York City. It's really warm though. It's 50 degrees and by tomorrow it's supposed to get up to 60. Crazy weather and then like the next day or two it's supposed to snow after that. Um, I worked night shift last night. I only slept for like an hour and I'm exhausted. But my brother Danny and his wife, he slept over last night. I went to the John Lennon Memorial last night. Mm -hmm. Strawberry Fields. So yesterday was December 8th, the anniversary of John Lennon's death. 39 years. 39? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, so he slept over then. And then his wife, Ashley, is coming into the city now as we speak. So we're going to meet her for lunch. And we'll see where the day takes us. Um, hopefully it doesn't start pouring. Just got a haircut too at the barber up here by where I live. Okay, we'll see where the day takes us. So we're off the subway already to meet Ashley for lunch and it's pouring already, of course. So we made it to see Ashley. We are in Harlem and Ashley, we're in Harlem 
And we're eating at the Grange. It's this bougie place that Ashley picked, of course. <laughs> Locally sourced. <laughs> Grass-fed, <laughs> organic. I got the pork belly BLT with Parmesan garlic fries. He got the same thing but with sweet potato fries. Ashley got, what you got? Keto lamb burger with no bun. No bun and salad. Wow. <laughs> So we got off at 191 in Broadway. We are walking down this cool graf graffiti hallway and we're gonna try and find a place where we can do walk-in massages. Okay, we're back at my apartment and it really started pouring so we took Uber back. I enjoyed my massage thoroughly because it was nice and relaxing. I almost fell asleep. You guys think of your massage? <laughs> Mine was good. I had a nice head rub and I enjoyed mine. Fanny? I got the receptionist who only stuck his thumbs in my neck and she was trying to find pressure points to put me to sleep and paralyze my limbs <laughs> and put his elbows in my back and it was the most painful experience I've ever had in my life. Oh, so dramatic. It's not even eight o'clock and I'm in bed watching Disney vlogs. Danny and Ashley just left. I only got like one to two hours of sleep before my day today after night shift last night. So I'm gonna call it a night, go to bed early, and have another exciting day tomorrow. Well, it's raining again in New York City. Um, today, I, my sister and brother-in-law and nephew are coming into the city and they wanna see the tree and FAO Schwartz and things like that. So I am headed to the subway and um, hopefully we have a good day and um, yeah, that's it. My favorite man, um, I think me and my sister-in-law have seen him like eight times. He films in this um, building, um, which I was going to see him today. but. Yeah, I heard Jimmy Fallon. So this is the basement of 30 Rock, and that's the ice skaters skating um, right below the tree. It's a madhouse. A couple weeks before Christmas. Just made it back to my subway station. We had a wonderful day in the city doing typical winter Manhattan things. The tree and the balls and um, Times Square. We had a lovely dinner at the Italian restaurant and I am exhausted now. So I am going to go home and watch some TV and just relax. Um, yeah, another wonderful day in New York. Oh, I also went to Rosie O'Grady's, which is where we plan on going for New Year's Eve. Um, so I just wanted to check out what it looks like in relation to the ball. 
And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. So I'm right. a hot mess, but I'm getting off working a couple of night shifts in a row. And last night's shift was pretty rough. But, um, so I'm gonna be running errands today. And normally I go to sleep right after work, but most of my errands that need to be done are things that need to be done before the stores close at five. And I'm afraid if I go to sleep, I won't wake up and get my butt up and do the things I wanna get done. So I'm just gonna stay up and get them done now. I have to go to the post office. I need to get my bangs cut. I need to get my nails done. And I feel like there was one more thing. But yeah, it's about 8 o'clock now, and the post office doesn't open until 9, so I'm actually going to head down to um, the local cafe by me to get uh, breakfast while I wait for the post office to open. Um, yeah, that's my exciting New York day today. Okay, change of plans, unfortunately. They only serve breakfast on the weekends. Today is Wednesday, so... I'm gonna start walking towards the post office and maybe I can find like a diner or something else. Grab something while I'm waiting. Oh yeah, so this is the reason I'm going to the post office. I'm sending about 30 postcards to three countries and about 12 or nine different states. So I just wanna catch up with everyone and say hi and let them know I'm thinking about them. I'm excited. I like when I get postcards, so I hope they like them. And I found a diner, got my coffee. So I got most of my errands done. I just got my bangs cut. I mailed all my postcards. I got to eat at the diner. And I got my nails done. Sparkly again for winter. Um, the one last thing I wanted to do was get a copy of my key made because my mom's coming in like a week and a half and then my friend Rose is coming and then I'm going away so I need someone to pet sit for me so I was hoping to have an extra key but I can't find any place that will copy it because it's a special key I'm going to try one more place and then it's off to bed for me finally it's like 11.30 and that was it for my exciting day